Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Wow, wow, and wow. And did I say wow yet? This is an amazing game. This is a hell of a game. Between two young up-and-coming chess talents in the U.S. As white, Conrad Holt, Grandmaster. And as black, Caden Troth, Grandmaster. These two young guys are part of the future of U.S. chess. And it's an amazing game. It's one of those games where us amateurs go through as well. Up and down, back and forth. It's just a crazy game. And it's decided by one simple mistake at the end. Let's go to it. It's going to be a Grunfeld. Conrad Hole is white, like I said, and Caden Trough is black. C4, G6. We'll go quickly through the opening. We're not really here to learn the opening theory. E3, castles, rook C1, pretty typical stuff. C5, D takes, queen A5, C takes, rook D8, bishop C4, bishop E6. Now the computer did that. It's showing that the the pivot point, so to speak, is d5. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> e4. Of course, we all see why white can't take. Lose the queen with check. Knight takes. Knight can't take, of course, because the king would be in check. This queen is right on the king. Knight comes up. Now this is an interesting move here. It is in the, one of the top three moves of the computer. Well, it just went off. And stop the video now and see if you can find what this move is. Because it's very interesting. And the move is knight takes f2. Now that jumped up the points for white to about one, almost one and a half. But you got to remember, computers have no emotion. They really don't care. What to do? What to do? Do you take the knight? Now, oddly enough, taking the knight's a disaster. None of the none of the scenarios in the computers to take the knight. It doesn't really list why, but you can stop the video now if you want to analyze it. He decided to go queen a4, try to trade queens off. We should take c3 check is a move that the computer likes. Queen takes, trade queens. He took the pawn. Now it's an almost three-point advantage already for white. be honest with you, black is basically busted. Basically busted. Give you an idea if you traded queens. Knight takes, D takes, F5. Little advantage for white, but not much of one, even though black's up the exchange. What he decided to do was queen takes c5. Now, here it comes. Pawn takes, knight takes the rook. Pawn takes check, king to f8. Now remember that king on f8. Remember this pawn on f7. They sit there for a while. It's just all hell's going to break loose here. It already has, really, but oddly enough, black is up the exchange, but is down over three points in score. That's a full piece. It's basically resignable. Knight to e4. It started to get real complicated. Queen to b6. Now, interesting enough, this is a very tempting move. Very tempting move indeed. What are you really trying to do? What is your goal? If you're trying to mate the black king. This bishop is guarding this pawn. So any checks to the black king and that piece cannot be taken is mate. What is white going to do here? Bishop c7. Now, oddly enough, the computer really liked queen a3, which I was watching the 
commentary live, which was the correct move. But he decided to go bishop to c7 instead. What's black going to do here? There's a million threats. Million threats. Queen e3 is the computer's choice, and that's what Caden Trough did. Queen e3. I mean, what else can he do? Bishop takes knight c6. I mean, this is crazy business here. Absolutely crazy. And the clock is just ticking. We're only on move 17. They probably used half their time. What to do? What to do? Bishop takes check. Knight takes bishop b6. Now, believe it or not, White has basically blown this. He's not behind. He's up a pawn. But the score is basically even now. I mean, look at this mess. Look at the white pieces. We're never going to see this. Here, 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 here. I mean, and look at poor Black. If he had played instead, Queen to C2, game is basically over. The Knight can't get out on H1. He's going to lose that piece. And that's his problem. He can't get the knight out. But after bishop d6, b5, trying to deflect the queen away. Because the queen is guarding the knight. If it moves, he loses the knight. Queen to c2 to guard the knight. Knight to f2. Now he can get out. Knight to c5. Rook to d8, queen b3, knight checks, knight takes, rook takes, queen takes b5. White's back in the game. Call for one, he's threatening mate on e8. He's up two pawns. Looks like pretty clear sailing. Queen checks. King goes to f1. Boy, look at that knight on e2. Knights are very, very good defensive pieces for the king. Rook to d8. He has to go back and guard his back rank. He has no choice. Bishop comes back. It won't be easy for white. We should be able to handle this. Queen takes b2. Black grabs the pawn. Queen to a5. Queen checks, king knee one, rook b8. Okay? Queen takes. Good thing these guys are young because they are absolutely under a ton of stress. Queen to d6, guarding the rook. Just a simple, and it's a computer's choice as well, g3, to protect the h pawn from the queen. Bishop b5. I mean, white is just murdering black here. Murdering them. Queen. Queen f6. There's that stupid pawn still on f7. Rook to d1. Rook c8. Grab that file. Queen has to move. Finally, king g7. The king gets to breathe a little bit. Okay. Rook d7. It's like white's coming in for the kill. King just goes back to f8. It's a four point lead now for white. Queen to d2. Knight to f5. Black's starting to untangle. He was all tangled up there around his king. Now he's starting to open up. But it's too late. Knight to f4. Bishop takes, queen takes. How in the world is he going to get that pawn on f7? Queen to b6, queen f2, doesn't want to trade.
Who to see sex is the computer's choice? Book to see one Chuck. And this is where Black stumbles. Or shoots Black stumbles. Queen Chucks. What to do, what to do. Blocks. Queen to B6. Now it's back being a three point advantage for White. King to F1, easy enough. Stop that back rank check. Queen checks. King G1, it's still over. Black still is just getting killed. Queen checks. King G2. Knight E3 check. And this is where Caden, or excuse me, Conrad Hold is white. Stumbles. And stumbles huge. He's absolutely winning. It's a four point advantage. This position is resignable. And he casually goes king to h3. And now white is lost. Give you an idea if you want to f3 instead. It secures the win according to the computer after knight g4. Knight checks. King e4. King's out in the open, but it's not that big of a deal. All his pieces are covered. The rook and the queen guard each other. The queen can guard the king. There's no more checks but the queen. But he went h3 instead. And see, stop the video now and see if you can find the winning move for black. It's a subtle move, but see if you can find it. Stop the video. The winning move for black is a simple g5. The threat is, of course, check. King comes up. Queen comes over, mate. Goes after the queen. Checks anyway. H4. And now, of course, the knight check. Wins the rook for free. King has to move. Queen takes. Queen to b2. You can't trade rooks. Going to go for a cheapo. In the corner, but knight to d4 stops that. After king takes the pawn, rook to c5, and mate's coming soon. And Conrad Holt, one of the bright stars of U.S. chess, resigns. I remember I watched the video when he resigned, shook his hand. He just bolted from the table. He didn't take his score sheet with him. He was so upset. And you're going to see at the end of the video, Caden Choff does a small interview. It happens, and it's wonderful when you're on the receiving end of a win like this. When I say receiving end, you're the winner. And you're all smiles, and you shake your head, and, you know, you thought you were lost, and, and it happens. Anyway, folks, that's the crazy game from round five. To give you an idea, roughly, after h4, queen, king, go through some scenarios here, the computer did here. You got to give up the queen. It's over. So there it is. Amazing game from round five of the U.S. Championship 2015. My favorite tournament. Oh well. As we say here in the United States, crap happens. And if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. If uh, we say lucky, Ray, <laughs> We're going to say uh, Lucky K. Yeah. <laughs> Caden, you got this game. This was maniacal. None of us could analyze it properly. The no. engines were going crazy. What were your thoughts when you got to uh, the position in this game? Um, uh, well, oh my gosh. I don't even know. Like, I have no idea what was going on for half of that game. I was just trying to make good moves. And um, I don't know, because I thought, like, I thought I was playing well. I thought I was playing the line you know, a, a line I knew. I was because I was trying to kind of play something different than I played at least in the last game I played this line. And so I I remember this other line and I I thought I looked at it and he just like pushed e4 and I took and he played knight e2 and all of a sudden like I I couldn't find anything. <laughs> it was just um, every, I'm like okay how can this be like if I if if I'm right did I just miss this did I like miss this in my preparation or or in my studying, and I'm just like, okay, and um, 
So you re so you responded by sacking a piece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's the way when you're confused. Let's take a look at it on the big board. You play the move knight takes f2. Mm. I mean, that's explosive. What a move. But then when he played the move queen to a4, you decided to play queen takes yeah. on c5. I mean, now it's just all heck broke loose. Yeah, and okay, the computer says I'm losing, which I'm not surprised about, but <laughs> I, I, I really, like, I didn't see what else to do. Did you feel like and you were losing right now, or did you think, like, maybe you were still in the game? No, I thought for sure somehow I was losing, but I couldn't see how I was losing, so if I can't see it, then I have to go for it, right? Exactly. And, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, of course, if I don't go for this, I'm just worse, um, and so I was hoping somehow, like, I'm okay here. Well, then you got this position. I mean, the, the key move he had uh, when you played king f8, uh, knight e4, queen b6, his move bishop c7 seemed very enticing, but he had this idea of queen a3, and then with the threat of knight c5, apparently that one would have really knocked you out. Did you, did you see that move coming? I, I didn't. I mean, it says the second best move is queen b3, and, I, yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure, like, what I was going to do there. But, um... Yeah, queen a3. Oof. That That's one. a hard <laughs> move to spot. Yeah, that actually, move with the queen is not a Actually, I, what I was worried about at first was bishop c7 until I'm like, well, I guess I could just play queen a3 and hope all goes well. Um, but yeah, I guess something um, like queen a3, queen b3, I know, I guess simple. Like you said, bishop c7 is very enticing. and It was hard. That's a delicious looking move. Hard yeah, not well, to play I mean, this move. You're down in exchange, I'll sack a piece and just to be like, oh yeah, if you you know, if I take the piece I'm just completely lost immediately after knight g five. Right. And so I mean, of course, it, it's that's the problem with us chess players is we like to be brilliant and sometimes it costs us. <laughs> um, I, I have that problem all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play like a genius. Gotakowski said when he came to your board he just shook his head, looked at the two young players and said I'm too old for this. I'm going to go back to playing <laughs> positional chess. <laughs> sometimes life has to be just nice and easy sometimes. Yeah, I, a lot of the players just came over like, whatever. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I'm playing the game and I don't know what's going on. So, Incredible. Now, you got to a point where you were just losing. I mean, let's not to put, put too fine a point on it. And right here, you play 93 check. And he has the, the possible king to f3. Yeah. And instead, he played this move. And this came out of nowhere. And what actually, were you thinking? Actually, well, what I saw, I mean, if you go back before 93, um, you know, I was, I was just looking at checking him, and I was trying to figure out, like, how does he get out of the checks? And I'm like, oh, if I play queen c6, he probably plays king h3. And so here I'm like, okay, I play g5. And you want to go g5 right now? I want to go g5 stopping king h3. Mm -hmm. But now I just play something like rook d3, and, okay, I have no 93, I have... I, queen c6, okay, I, I don't know, king h3 or something. It's, yeah, or bishop or d5, bishop d5 maybe. Yeah, just simple. He, and, okay, he's up two pawns, and my king's terrible. And so, like, once I, I realize this, I'm like, okay, play knight e3. And then if he plays king h3, g5. Hello. Which, yeah, it's Sorry, just... Sorry, uh, let me get that right. I mean, it's it's... It's very there understandable to miss because, you know, you see king h3 and you get excited, like you're finally escaping. And it, but, you know, you, you look at the, a position like this and just immediately stop looking at it because a queen d6, trade queens, and it's happy for white. But all of a sudden, you realize g4, knight f5. Right, we looked at that. I'm winning a rook. And, yeah, here I, I was just like, I, I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I'm winning. <laughs> I just, Maybe, after all of that. Well, yeah, I, I first I, I played G5 immediately, and I walked away like, okay, I'm okay now. And then like I kept going back, like, wait a second, am I winning? <laughs> and I'm like, I think I'm winning. What? <laughs> What's going on? And I'm like, okay. And he, he, you, I could tell from watching him that he was just very frustrated. I'm like, okay. All right, you know, I'm not, I'm not happy when someone else is frustrated, unless it's my opponent. <laughs> And so I was feeling good. Um, You've you know, beaten him say. four times, is that right? Yeah, four this is, times this you is guys actually, have played. This is number five. Yeah, I've, I'm five zero against him. What's going on here? That's that's not supposed to happen. I I really don't know. Um, you know, I think I think some of it is. I have no idea. Dumb luck. I guess yeah. Dumb, <laughs> dumb luck against the, like this. I mean, I the one of the other games. Well, actually, two of the other games I I won. The first two. 
um, actually came a lot of time pressure. And you know, on, honest for Conrad, he's he's an incredible blitz player. But somehow, like time pressure, he he really struggles. And I've noticed that in some of his games. And so the first game I played him um, was actually at the U.S. Junior here, and it, you know upstairs. And um, it was a complicated game. And at one point, like I sacked a piece, and. You know, I would have had some compensation if he took it, but, but we were both in time pressure and didn't realize that he could just take it. And I ended up winning. And then the second one, it was just, like, really complicated. But at the same time, like, I was just completely losing. And in time pressure, I won. And these these last two, actually, um, just I, I was feeling better after the, the third and fourth time I beat him because it was actually, like, sound. Like, I was better out of the opening and just kind of controlled it. And then there was this one where... I, I, <laughs> just, I don't know what to do. Except Your Easter just, blessing. Yeah, exactly. Resurrected. <laughs> Something like that. So, uh, so all right, the game's done. Right. Uh, you're now tied for third after five rounds I, in the U.S. Championship. Uh, what are you thinking? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, really, like, as far as playing-wise, I, I don't think I should be tied for third. But, you know, my my I guess what I, I promised myself um, – and all my games is that I go in there and fight. And against Anishchuk, like I almost resigned at one point, and um, I decided, oh, okay, I'll keep you know fighting on, and I did, and ended up drawing. And um, you know, I, I think that that's really been like what has made the difference for me is you know maybe I'm not playing the best, but I, I'm fighting, and you know that that fight and that, that just to keep trying really pays off. Um, you know, even if. I was losing. If, a matter of fact, you could have had zero out of two, and you have one and a half right. out of two. <laughs> that's that's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I think that that just it's one of the cool things about chess is, I mean, you have to realize like you know he plays king h3, just assuming that it's over now. And I mean, one of the things about chess is there's so many resources and there's there's so many just like crazy crazy ideas. Being us. And uh, I don't want to say good luck because you already <laughs> exhausted <laughs> your luck for this right, tournament. Right. 